esta reunión. Hello, Matthew. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. And you? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay. You're the first one here. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see who else comes. Lisa, metete ya la clase. Ah, you know how to español. Verdad. A ver, one moment, one moment. Okay. All right. I'm telling, I'm telling Luisa to go to class. Oh, good. Yes. Uh, uh, Lisa say to wait for her uh, mom. Okay. Well, you are the only one who's here, so I'll wait several moments, see if, oh, here comes Luisa. Mm -hmm. Hello, Luisa. Oh, she can't hear me yet. Hello. Hello. I've missed you. Uh, um, I couldn't enjoy the last classes because my school was on exam week. So, uh -huh. sorry. That makes sense. Well, there may be a day coming up. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to have some minor surgery. So I should be able to find out this week. So next week I should be able to tell everyone um, if I'm, you know, when I, that's going to be and if it should affect um, our class. But there are several others who should be here. Nancy's usually here. In fact, um, Lena, I don't know where Lena is. She's comes a lot of times. Or Damaris. Now, um, Norma. Norma Guzman has been sick, so I need to contact her again. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and start and the others can catch up to us. So let's 
share the screen. Okay, our, let's see, let's move this over a little bit and we can see it better. Our scripture is found in the book of James, chapter one, verse 17. And it says, I just want, okay. Forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who does us wrong. And we can ask forgiveness. Oh, excuse me. Here comes Nancy. I'll stop for Nancy. Hello, Nancy. How are you? Hello, Mrs. Wanda. I'm Gray. And you? Well, I'm doing pretty well. Um, I was just telling them that I haven't found out when I'll have my minor surgery yet, but as soon as I find, I should find out this week. Okay. And then if it's going to affect our class, then I should be able to let you know next week. Okay. And today we have Matthew and Louisa. Louisa was on before. And um, so there's Nancy. And um, so we have three. We'll see if anyone else comes. I haven't heard from Norma Guzman this week, but um, her COVID went into pneumonia. So she's been having a very hard time of it. Wow. So definitely pray for her. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're looking at our scripture and it's found in the book of James chapter one, verse 17 and it says forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who does us wrong and god forgives us when we ask for forgiveness but it helps us inside when we forgive others and so we need to think about how God loves us in spite of ourselves and think about everyone else as, as important as we are to God. And, and each person is important to him. He made us all. Okay, let's look at our vowels. So what's this one? A. A. And this one? E. e. And this one? I. And this one? O. o. And this one? U. E. All right. Um, so we're going to be looking at the text, page 128. And that's where we'll start. And then we'll go to the workbook, page 86. Okay, here we are, page 128. Oh, I started putting the CD in and Matthew came and I got stopped and forgot to go ahead and put it in. And don't think it's your fault, Matthew. Just think of me as not thinking. Okay. 
Okay, so on page 128, at the top, it says, show what you know. And uh, part A says, listen, two friends are talking about an apartment. Let's see. Yeah, that should be it. Page 128, exercise 1A. Listen, two friends are talking about an apartment. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What's it like? It has a kitchen, a living room, and one bedroom. It sounds great. Okay. So... I was asking you last week to think about the a house or apartment where you live and tell us a little bit about it. So um, Nancy, can you tell us about the rooms in your apartment? Yes. Okay, my apartment has uh, one kitchen, one living room, one dining room, three bedroom, and two bathroom, one laundry, uh, a balcony. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So, Louisa, can you tell about the house or apartment where you live? On my house, I have five bedrooms, two bathrooms. A kitchen and uh, like where are the machine this? The laundry room, the washing yes, machine. That. That's a laundry yes. room. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and that's it. Okay. So, Matthew, tell about where you live. Uh, I have bath two two bathroom three bedroom one kitchen and one living room and one living room. Okay. All right then. And um, it says to draw, make a drawing. Well, it's kind of hard for us to show each other drawings. So we won't do that. But then um, part two says, ask about an apartment and listen, a woman is asking for information. Page 128. Exercise 2A. Listen, a woman is asking for information. I have some questions about the apartment. Is there a sofa? Yes, there is. Are there any lamps? No, there aren't. Okay, so um, Louisa, ask Nancy something about her apartment, um, you know, about beds or sofa or lamps or something like that, chairs? Hi, um, Nancy, can you describe your kitchen? Okay, my kitchen have a, um, a sink. I uh, have one stove, uh, refriger refrigerator, or refrig refrigerator. Um, refrigerator. <laughs> refrigerator. Oh. We'll be off at that into something else pretty soon, so don't worry refrigerate, about it. Refrigerator. <laughs> refrigerator. Um, this washer. Okay. So now, Matthew, 
ask Louisa about her uh, house, one of the rooms in her house. Um, Lisa, can you describe uh, your bedroom? My bedroom has a bed, a window inside the bed, has a, how do you say armario? This, um, dresser. What? Dressers. Dresser. Dresser? Well, it's a dresser and a estantería, how do you say? Uh, esa es, <laughs> esa no me la sé. <laughs> como tablilla, well, pues, tablilla. Yeah, sí. Uh, esa es, es, no, no recuerdo, esa no me la sé. Ah, uh, um, oh, well, where you put your books? Oh, uh, a shelf? Shelf. Yes, shelf. a shelf. shelf. And that's it, my question. Okay. So now, Nancy, ask Matthew. Matthew, uh, tell me about your kitchen in your house. Not kitchen, no. About your bathroom in your house. Describe your bathroom in your house. Uh -huh. Um. I have sink, um, shower, um, a shop, um, shampoo, <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. Any questions? No, no. No. All right. Go on to page 129. It says read an ad for an apartment. And part A says for rent, one bedroom apartment, new stove, refrigerator, living room has sofa and chairs. $725 a month, call Robert, and then it gives a telephone number. Apartment B says for rent, apartment in house. So that means it's a part of a house. There's two bedrooms, a garage, a laundry room in the basement. It's $980 a month and call Rosa. Now, using the information in those two advertisements, part B says, read the sentences, read the ads again, match the sentences with the ads, write A or B. So on uh, number one, there is some furniture. Well, part um, ad A, says um, the living room has sofa and chairs. That's furniture. So read the other four or other five um, statements and compare them with the two advertisements. And be sure to tell me when you're finished. Finish. Finish. Okay. So, um, Nancy, what's number two? There are two bedrooms, uh, letter B. Okay. And Louisa, number three? There is a new stove, number eight. Okay, and number four, Matthew. 
And there is a um, laundry room is B. And number five, Nancy. The rent is $725 a month, letter A. And number six, Louisa. Uh, there is a garage, um, uh, the B. All right. Then part four says to write an advertisement for your house or apartment where you live. And you could use these as a model. Are you almost finished? Yes. Finish. Okay. 
So Louisa, tell us about your advertisement. Uh, for rent, a house with five bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, and a laundry room. Call with us my phone number and 920 months. Okay. So Matthew, what's your advertisement? Uh, uh, an apartment with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, a living room, and balcony. Um, yeah. And how much are you going to charge? Um, seven hundred. No, no, mentira, mentira, mentira. Mm, seven hundred a month. Okay, and so Nancy, what's your advertisement? For rent apartment, uh, three bedroom, two bathroom, kitchen has a stove, microwave, refrigerator and this washer uh, have a laundry room, sunny uh, dining room, oh, sorry, sunny, sunny living room, a small dining room, a lot closet. Uh, the rent is $1,500 a month. Call Nancy, 615. 7100386. All right, then. Any questions? Mm -hmm. So now, are you ready to go to clothes and shoes? On page 130, it's uh, unit eight let's go shopping. Lesson one clothes and shoes. So Look at the clothes and shoes, listen and point, listen and repeat. Unit eight, let's go shopping. Page 130, exercise A, listen and point. One. A t-shirt. Two. A skirt. Three. A dress. Four. Jeans. Five. A jacket. Six. A blouse. Seven. Socks. Eight. Shoes. Nine. A shirt. Ten. A sweater. Eleven. Pants. Twelve. Sneakers. Listen and repeat. One. A t shirt. A t shirt. Two. A skirt. A skirt. Three. A dress. A dress. Four. Jeans. Jeans. Five. A jacket. A jacket. A jacket. Six. A blouse. A blouse. A blouse. Seven. Socks. 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 Eight. Shoes. Shoes. Nine. A shirt. A shirt. A shirt. Ten. 
A sweater. A sweater. 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 Eleven. Pants. Pants. Twelve. Sneakers. 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 Sneaker. Page one thirty. Exercise B. Listen and read. One. A t-shirt. A two. A skirt. A skirt. Three. A dress. A dress. Four. Jeans. Jeans. Jacket. Five. Yes. A jacket. Six. A blouse. A blouse. Seven. Socks. Socks. Blouse. Eight. Shoes. Nine. A shirt. Ten. A sweater. Sweater. Eleven. Pants. Yes. Twelve. Sneakers. Listen and repeat. One. A t-shirt. A t-shirt. Two. A skirt. A skirt. Three. A dress. A dress. A dress. Four. Jeans. Jeans. Five. A jacket. A jacket. A jacket. A blouse. A blouse. A blouse. Seven. Socks. 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 Eight. Shoes. Shoes. Nine. A shirt. A shirt. Ten. A sweater. A sweater. A sweater. Eleven. Pants. 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 Twelve. Sneakers. 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 Okay, any questions? No. No. All right. Then part C on page 131 is uh, listen, listen, and repeat. And this is a conversation. Let's go short. Page 131, exercise C. Listen. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay. I need shoes and pants. Listen and repeat. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay. I need shoes and pants. Okay. I need shoes and pants. Okay. I need shoes and pants. Any questions? No. No. All right. So then, Nancy, you start out as part A. And Louisa, you do part B. Okay. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay, I need shoes and pants. All right, now Louisa, you're A, and Matthew, you're B. Let's go shopping. I need a new, a new jacket. Okay, I need shoes and pants. Okay, Matthew, you're A and Nancy's B. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay, I need shoes and pants. All right, any questions? No. Mm -hmm. So then part E, listen and read the story. Page 131, exercise E. Listen and read the story. Aisha and Helen are classmates. 
They are on Third Avenue. The department store has a sale today. Aisha needs a new jacket. Helen needs new shoes. She wants a pair of pants, too. Okay, any questions? All right, then part F, read the story again and um, compare it with these sentences. There's five sentences there. If what's in the sentence is in the story, it's a yes. If it's not in the story, it's no. Finish. Finish. Okay. So, um, Matthew, read sentence one and then tell whether it's yes or no. Um, Aisha and Helen are classmates. Yes. Okay, and Nancy, number two. They are in school. No. Where are they? They are on Thurs Avenue. Okay. And number three, Luisa. Aisha needs a new dress. Is no. What does she need? A new jacket. Okay. And number four, Matthew. Um, Helen needs shoes. Yes. And number five, Nancy. Helen wa wants a pair of socks. No. What does she want? She wants a pair of pants. Okay. Any questions? All right, let's go on to the other book. And this would be the workbook, page 86. Now, these are the same pictures. They're just not in color and the same um, descriptions. So look at the pictures. Write the words, use the words in the box. Finish. Mrs. Wanda, when uh, describe the the plural example, choose 
pan, don't, don't know, use letter A. Well, normally you would talk about a pair of shoes. Okay. Or a pair of pants. So it's a pair. Okay. Or two pair. Okay. In, in this in this case, use a a pair, but no use the the word pair. Only say shoes or pants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, in two weeks, it's Monday, February 21, and that is an official holiday. It's called President's Day, and when we celebrate all of the different presidents, specifically, there are two or three. Well, there's two that have a birthday in February, and that's where it kind of started. So, do you want to have that day, um, Monday, February 21st off and not have class? Or do you want to have class? So think about it. Um, if there's an, a reason that you need that off, please let me know. Um, but think about it and try to give me an answer by the time we're over, by the time this class is over. That's two weeks. Now, next week is Valentine's Day, and that's not an official holiday. You just celebrate that by giving someone you love something special. <laughs> okay, so Nancy, what's number one, please? Uh, number one is sneakers. And number two, Louisa? Number two, uh, pants. And number three, Matthew? Uh, is sweater. sweater. No, that one's a shirt. See number 10 down there? That's a sweater. Number three is a shirt. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So number four, Nancy. Shoes. And number five, Louisa. Upload. And number six, Matthew. Uh, skirt. And number seven, Nancy. A jacket. And number eight, Louisa. A dress. Number nine, Matthew. Jeans. And number 10, Nancy. A sweater. And number 11, Louisa. Suck. And number 12, Matthew. Um, t -shirt. Yes, t shirt. Okay, any questions? No. All right, then part B. This is in that next page, page 87. Um, I'm going to play something and it's going to say something about one of the items in the list. And so if it's like a number one, if it's the jacket, then it'll say something about a jacket. If it's the shirt, it'll say something about a shirt. And if it's the t-shirt, it'll say something about a t-shirt. And so you circle the letter beside the picture of whatever it's talking about. So just a minute, let me get to the right track. You 
Unit 8. Let's go shopping. Page 87. Exercise B. Listen for the clothes and shoes. Circle A, B, or C. 1. I need a new shirt. 2. I need a new skirt. 3. I need a new t-shirt. 4. I need new sneakers. 5. I need new jeans. 6. I need a new dress. Okay, do I need to play it again? Yes, please. Okay. Unit 8. Let's go shopping. Page 87. Exercise B. Listen for the clothes and shoes. Circle A, B, or C. 1. I need a new shirt. 2. I need a new skirt. Three. I need a new t-shirt. Four. I need new sneakers. Five. I need new jeans. Six. I need a new dress. Now, do I need to play it again? No. All right. So I believe, Louisa, it's your turn to be number one. Number one, I need a chip. Okay. And number two, Matthew? Uh, number two is A. Yes. What's it called? Um, a, a skirt. Yes, skirt. All right. I, I, I'm not trying to pick on you. It's just that it seemed like you were having a little trouble. So I wanted to have a little more practice. Nancy, number three. Number three, letter B, t-shirt. And number four, Louisa. Number four, are uh, sneakers. Okay, and number five, Matthew. Uh, number five is jeans. And number six, Nancy. Letter A, dress, dress, dress. Okay. <laughs> Any questions? No. no. All right, now then, part C is going to be a little bit harder because you're going to need to write the words and you've got the words in that facing page. They're page uh, 86. So I'll play it at least twice, but if you need to, me to play it more, please ask. Uh, so I'll ask you if you want me to play it more, but I'll definitely play it until you've got everything. Page 87, exercise C. Listen, write the missing words. One. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay. I need shoes. Two. Let's go shopping. I need new pants. Okay. I need a blouse. Three. Let's go shopping. I need a new sweater. Okay, I need a shirt. Four, let's go shopping. I need new sneakers. Okay, I need jeans. Okay, I'm gonna play it again. And like I said, I'll play it as many times as we need because it's it goes kind of fast. Page 87, exercise C, listen. Write the missing words. One. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay. 
I need shoes. Two. Let's go shopping. I need new pants. Okay. I need a blouse. Three. Let's go shopping. I need a new sweater. Okay. I need a shirt. Four. Let's go shopping. I need new sneakers. Okay. I need jeans. Okay, do I need to play it again? Yes, please. Yes, please. Page 87, exercise C. Listen, write the missing words. One. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay, I need shoes. Two. Let's go shopping. I need new pants. Okay. I need a blouse. Three. Let's go shopping. I need a new sweater. Okay. I need a shirt. Four. Let's go shopping. I need new sneakers. Okay. I need jeans. Do I need to play it again? No, me not. No. All right. Um, that went well. Um, sometimes it pays, takes four or five times when it's like that, where you're having to write it out. Okay. So, Matthew, read number one, both A and B, the whole sentences. Um, let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay, I need shoes. All right, Nancy, number two. Let's go shopping. I need new pants. Okay, I need a, blow, a blouse. And number three, Louisa. Let's go shopping. I need a new sweater. Okay, I need a shirt. And number four, Matthew. Uh, let's go shopping. I need new sneakers. Okay, I need jeans. All right, any questions? No. So Nancy, you be A, and Louisa, you'll be B, and do all four of them. Okay. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay, I need a shoe. Let's go shopping. I need new pants. Okay, I need a blouse. Let's go shopping. I need a new sweater. Okay, I need a shirt. Let's go shopping. I need a new skirt, uh, sneaker. Okay, I need a jean. All right, so Louisa, you'll be A, and Matthew, you be B. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay, I need shoes. Let's go shopping. I need a new pants. Okay, I need a blouse. Let's go shopping. I need a new sweater. Okay, I need a shirt. Let's go shopping. I need a new sneaker. Okay, I need jeans. All right, now Matthew, you're A and Nancy's B. Let's go shopping. I need a new jacket. Okay, I need shoes. Let's go shopping. I new I need new pants. Okay, I need a blouse. Let's go shopping. I need a new sweater. Okay, I need a shirt. Let's go shopping. I need new sneakers. Okay, I need jeans. All right, any questions? No. All right, let's go back to the other book. 
And this would be page 132. Oops, oops, oops. I was trying to move my marker and I was moving the wrong one. All right. So on page 132, lesson two, clothing size. This, that, these, those. So these are words that we're going to learn and then sizes. So um, A is listen and point, listen and repeat. Oh, wait a minute, it's wrong CD. Nancy, ¿qué página es que es? La, en el libro, la 132. Gracias. 132, mira, si lo ves ahí, no se ve bien. Sí. 132. Gracias, gracias. Y saludo a Matthew, Matthew que no te saludo ahorita, sorry. Ah, sí, ya la. Perdón. No, tranquila. All right, are we ready to listen? Yes. Future intro. Oops. Copyright to future. <laughs> Stop this. Okay. Just a minute. It's not acting. It's not acting right. Mm -hmm. I got it to the right place, and then when I started to play it, it went back to the beginning. Okay, now we'll try it. Page 132, exercise A, listen and point. Small. Medium. Medium. Large. Large. Extra large. large. Listen and repeat. Small. Small. Uh, medium. 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 Large. 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 Extra large. Extra large. Extra large. Okay, hey, any questions? No. All Small. right, part B is another conversation. And one of the things that is a problem between English and Spanish is the pronunciation of Y, y. and J. The hard sound of J you um in english is like the way you pronounce the y in spanish like this is jerlene and this is john but the soft sound of y is in spanish like the j of juan and english is like the y so it's like these two are just switched between English and Spanish. So if you can get that idea, then you should be able to um, uh, pronounce the words. So like um, we would call this yes, not Jess. Mm -hmm. you, you, yesterday. This we would say is John or joke or jump. All right. So let's see about, well, we'll get to that in a minute. So now here is the conversation. Let's listen and listen and repeat. Page 132, exercise B, listen. Can I help you? Do you have this shirt in a large? Yes, here you go. Do you have these pants in a size 12? 
No, I'm sorry, we don't. Listen and repeat. Can I help you? Can I help you? you? Do you have this shirt in a large? Do you, Do you have, have this shirt, shirt in, in a large? Large? Yes. Here you go. Yes. 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 Here we go. Here you go. Do you have these pants in a size 12? Do you have these pants in, in a size 12? 12? Do you have these pants no, in a size 12? I'm sorry, we don't. No, no I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, any questions? No. So, Louisa, UBA and Matthew, UBB. Can I help you? Uh, do you have this shit in Allah? Yes. Yes, here you go. Do you have these pants in a well? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, Matthew, you be A and Nancy, you be B. Okay. Can I help you? Do you have these shirts in a large? Yes, here, we, here you go. Do you have these pants in a size 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, Louisa, you be A and Nancy B. Can I help you? Do you have this shirt in a large? Yes, here you go. Do you have this pan in a size 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, Louisa, you be A and Matthew B. Can I help you? Do you have this shirt in a large? Yes, here you go. Do you have your pants in and six twelve? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, so Matthew, you, I can't talk. Matthew, you're A and Nancy's B. Can I help you? Do you have these shirts in a large? Yes, here you go. Do you have these pants inside? Uh, 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, now Luisa's A and Nancy's B. Can I help you? Do you have this shirt in a large? Mm -hmm. Yes, here you go. Do you have this band in a side 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, any questions? No. no. All right, now part D, you're taking um, the information from these conversations. Conversation one is a t-shirt and a pair of shoes. Conversation two is a blouse and two dresses. And conversation three is a sweater and jeans. So use the different conversations in this time. So Matthew, you be A and uh, Nancy, you'll be B and use conversation one this time. Vamos a hacer es la misma conversación, lo único que en los espacios en blanco vas a ponerle la conversación uno te dice t-shirt y después tiene shoes y en los blancos vas a decir, sería la B do you have this t-shirt in large y después la B en blanco sería do you have this shoes in a size 12 luego la conversación 2 pues cambiarías a blouse y a dresser y la conversación 3 a sweater y a jeans Ah. Los blancos, la conversación 1, conversación 2 y conversación 3. Ahora vamos a hacer la 1, la que tiene el t-shirt y la que tiene shoes. Ok. Um, 
Can I help you? Do you have this t-shirt in a large? Yes, here you go. Do you have these shoes in a size 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay. So, um, Luisa, you'll be, be. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm getting it mixed up. Okay, Nancy, you be A and Louisa, you be B. Okay, conversation one? Uh, yes. Okay. Can I help you? Do you have this t shirt in large? Yes, here you go. Do you have these shoes in size 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, so now this one, um, Matthew. Okay, Luis will be A and Matthew will be B. Yeah. Can I help you? Um, do you have your shirt in a lot? Mm -hmm. Yes, here you go. Do you have Do you have these shoes in a C twelve? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, that word in part B, the the second part B, it says, "Do you have these shoes in a size?" size. That word is size. 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 Nice. Okay, let's look at conversation two this time. These dresses is plural. The these has to be plural and the dresses has to be plural. And then if you're talking about just one, it's this dress is singular, this is singular and dress is singular. So both words have to be plural. These dresses for plural and this dress for singular. Can we be a little more confusing, please? <laughs> okay, mm. let's, let's, it's English. <laughs> really? It's English. Okay, so Matthew, you be A and Nancy, you will be B and this time use conversation two. Okay. Okay. Can I help you? <laughs> Do you have this blouse in a large? Yes. Here you go. Do you have this uh, dresser in a size 12? No, I'm sorry. We don't. Okay. So now Luis is A and Nancy's B. Can no. I help you? <laughs> I'm letter A, Luisa B. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Can I help you? Do you have this blouse in large? Yes, here you go. Do you have these dresses in size 12? No, I'm sorry, we can't. Okay. ¿Cómo te dice lo de la tres? No, en la dos. Estamos en la dos. Ah, verdad. Bien. Yeah. Perdón, perdón. So, okay, Nancy, where am I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, eh, Matthew, you are A, and Lu no, Lisa A, and Matthew B. Okay, thank you. And use conversation too, because I've I got myself can, mixed up. Can I help you? Do you have the blows a large? Yes, here you go. Do you have the, the treasure in a size 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay. So now Nancy is A and Louise is B and let's use conversation three this time. Can I help you? 
Do you have this sweater in large? Yes, here you go. Do you have these jeans in size 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, so Matthew is A and Louisa is B. Can I help you? Do you have this sweater in large? Yes, here you go. Do you have these jeans in size 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Okay, so now. Um, Lisa letter A and I letter B. <laughs> okay. Can I help you? Do you have this sweater in a large? Yes, here you go. Do you have these uh, jeans in a size 12? No, I'm sorry, we don't. All right, now, if we're through being confused, please, <laughs> let me show you about some things. The I apostrophe M is a contraction of I am. Mm -hmm. So I talk about me, I am mm -hmm. Wanda, I'm Wanda. Mm -hmm. um, now, do not, the contraction for do not is don't. Don't. And basically, you just put it together and in place of this uh, uh, O, you put the apostrophe. But it's don't. And the um, separate words are do not. And this TH in English is kind of you kind of stick your tongue out and make it rattle this 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 and these these it's very similar to the word trees but tree is with an r and these is with an h oh my it's english <laughs> now let's go to page 133 and part A, E, read the sentences. So I talked about that this before. These is talking, uh, no, this is talking about something close to you. Um, this is my phone. That is something that's away from you. That is the street, the street out there. This is something close to you. That is far away. And that's both singular. This and that are singular. Now, plural, if I had, okay. These pins and those hats. So that's the plural. These is close to you. Those is far away. And that's really not that far. It's just right there. Okay. So we're not talking about it has to be far, far away. But these I can touch, it's, it's up close. Those, it's going to be further away. All right. So the sentences, do you have this shirt? He's actually holding the shirt. Mm -hmm. And then she says, no, but we have that shirt. She's actually pointing to it. It's not close enough that she can touch it. No, but we have that shirt in a large. And then she says, do you have these dresses in a size 12? She's actually holding the dresses. No, but we have those 
dresses in a size 12 and he's pointing to them. So these and this is going to be something close. This is singular, these is plural. That and those is far away, not, not far, far away, but you know, you can't just reach out and touch it. So that and those is a way and that is singular and those is plural. Okay. Taking that confusing issue on F, write this or these. So remember, this is singular, these is plural. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. In Spanish, isn't it salud? Yes. <laughs> As I was telling Matthew, my Spanish is not very good. It's okay. Salud is okay. <laughs> I was at a meal with one of my um English students and her daughter grew up in the United States and evidently she doesn't know much Spanish and she sneezed and I said salud and she leaned over to her mom and said what did she say <laughs> in English is bless blessed bless you bless you bless, bless you you bless you bless you yes. bless you okay is everyone finished yes i'm confused this and this the okay um singular is this plural these yes and that S is almost like a Z. These. These, okay. These, in and the plural. Yes. Okay. These in singular, these in plural. Okay. This uh, is singular. The T-H-I-S. Uh-huh. This is singular these see it has that e sound e is this e is these 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 and these so this is this okay this it's a difference in this vowel sound mm as well as the S sound, but this is I, these is E. That mm -hmm. vowel sounds E, and this, it's a I. I, I, this, this. <laughs> oh, English is not easy. Spanish <laughs> is much easier. I don't always know what it means, but I can usually say it. Oh my goodness. This, this. Okay, so um, 
Nancy, number one. Okay. Do you have this jacket in um, extra large? And number two, Louisa. Do you have those shoes in those shoes in size A? No, it would be these. These. You're only using this and these. These and these. Okay. These. This is one singular. These is plural and shoes is plural. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about just one shoe, it wouldn't have that final S. So it would be these shoes in a size eight. Okay. Okay. And number three, Matthew. Um, this is what things are and this is mine. Size, 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 small. Okay. And number four, Nancy. This dress in a size 10. And number five, Luisa. We have these gloves in medium. Medium, 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 okay. medium. Any medium. questions? Medium. Now, Luisa, these is plural for something up close. Those is plural for, you can't reach it. It's maybe in the same room, but like I showed the hats, they're across the room. So on G, you're writing that for one or those for two or more, plural. These, 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 there are these, there are these, these. Are you finished? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, pants are plural. 
they start out just being plural. I guess because it has two legs, I don't know. But if you're talking about a pair of pants, that can be singular. But when you're talking about, you know, you're holding up a pair of pants, these pants would be plural. Just like shoes, you know, they're two shoes. So it would be uh, plural. But a, this pair of pants, you're talking about one pair, it would be singular. These, talking about more than one, is going to be plural, these pants. And then if it's away, that pair of pants, so see the that goes with the pair and it's singular and those pants is plural. Okay, so Matthew number one. Um, do you have those socks in a uh, small? Okay, and number two, Nancy. Do you have that church in a large? Okay, that's with a K. So it would be skirt. Skirt. That's skirt in a large. Skirt. Okay, what you said was shirt. What's there is skirt. And the only difference is the H or the K. Skirt. You know, S, skirt. Skirt, shirt. <laughs> so the shirt goes on top and the skirt goes on the bottom. <laughs> shirt, skirt. Right. Skirt. Okay. Do you have the skirt in a large? All right. And so, Luisa, number three. That shirt is a medium. And number four, Matthew. Uh, we have that t-shirt in a extra large. Okay. You're talking about that being one or those being plural and see the S on the end of t-shirts, that makes it plural. We have those t-shirts in large. Yes, so it would be those t-shirts okay. in an extra large. Okay, and now number five. Those jeans are a size 12. Okay, questions. <laughs> Should we start on this page again next week? Mm -hmm. I think we had more problems with this, pa this page than we had any other page we worked on tonight. Okay. So we'll start on this page then next week and um, practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been told that it takes 50 times, 50 veces to learn a new word. So these words that you're having problems with, it's practice, practice, practice. And if you can speak English with somebody, that would be a blessing for you. It would just help you so much. So I believe it's time to go and are almost time to go. So in two weeks, I was talking about the President's Day. Um, what do you think? Do you want to have class or no? Mm. Um. Luisa y Matthew, ¿ustedes celebran este día o no lo celebran? Imagino que no. ¿Celebran? No. El... no lo celebran, ¿verdad? 
No. Mis jugadores, la pregunta que si ese día quieren clase o. Ah, el 14 de febrero. ¿Perdón? No, 21. ¿Y qué pasa en el 21 de febrero? Es que se celebra acá en los el Día de los Presidentes. Ah, ah, no. <ríe> no, yo no tengo problemas por ver clase. Tampoco. O sea, te dice que sí, que haya clase. Por mí, sí, sí. por mí, contento. Ok. <ríe> Missy Wanda, they say it's okay for he, for, for they. <ríe> ok. So we will have class every day in February. And next week, if you want to give a next uh, Monday, if you want to give someone um, Valentine, it's like a red heart and it says <laughs> something about, I love you. So, you know, uh, parents, children, husband, wife, uh, someone mm -hmm. like that. Okay. okay. And so okay. we will have class every Monday uh, in February. And I'll let you know when I find out about this. Um, it's a minor surgery, they said that it, you know, I'll feel bad for a day, but should be fine later. So I'll let you know about that. Okay. It's okay for you, Miss Wanda. The uh, holidays yes okay yes okay i mean we had class all summer long right mm -hmm. we're the only class that had class all summer long mm -hmm. so yes okay um so you have a good week thank you you too and we'll yes. see you then next week Yes, see you then. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you so much, Ms. Wanda. Thank you. Uh, de nada. <laughs> Gracias. Bye. <laughs>